Attention, Commander. The Hellhounds have begun building an elaborate satellite communication system spanning the world map, putting you directly in harm's way. You must gain control of these spires to put a stop to their plans before it's too late. Completely level the base surrounding a communication spire to gain control of it. While you maintain control of the spire, you'll gain bonus XP for each wave that you complete during the event. You can control up to 5 spires at once to stack up to a 25% XP bonus. Additionally, you'll need to defend your base against Hellhound invasion forces. For each wave of enemies that you successfully defend your base against, you'll be awarded XP. Then it's time to go on the offensive to seek and destroy Hellhound outposts. The target indicator on the right side of the screen will display the level of the outpost that you need to attack. You'll eventually encounter Fortress Waves, which are heavily defended Hellhound bases that yield bonus XP for destroying specific targets within a set period of time. Click on the Prizes button to see the list of technology that you can unlock and have already unlocked by redeeming your XP. New to Operation Devil's Grip are two epic tech prizes that can be won by beating a specific wave. The Dual Missile Payload component will grant an equipped Hellfire tank an additional missile to fire per volley. With a platoon of Hellfires launching double the missiles, you can rain hell on earth upon your enemies. The Brimstone Targeting System component on a Hellfire tank will change the trajectory of the missile at fire so that they are more difficult to be shot down. If you've had trouble with your Hellfires reaching their targets, they should now be able to penetrate even the heaviest anti-missile fire. One of the new prizes you can purchase with your XP is the Valkyrie Schematic. This will allow you to customize your Valkyrie units in your workshop. Some of the notable components available to equip are Stinger Missiles and the Explosive Suit that will cause a dead Valkyrie to fall towards an enemy unit and explode on impact. If you use Valkyries, this prize is a must-have. But if you want to see a true modern marvel, check out the brand new Hover Tank. This agile vehicle glides over the ground, making it immune to cryo effects and won't detonate landmines. Its speed makes it fast enough to dodge fire from defense turrets like mortars, hellfires, and barrage rockets. It's also the first tank with the ability to move and shoot simultaneously. And even more impressive, it's equipped with anti-air weaponry, making it an excellent choice for destroying drones from drone silos. All of the hover tank's technology make it the most versatile tank to date, effective in both base attacks and platoon combat. And don't forget, Commander, this is your last chance to earn the Spectre aircraft. Its unique ability to lay down high-caliber cannon fire at specific targets make it a true terror of the skies, so grab it now while you can. Operation Devil's Grip begins Thursday, December 19th, and ends Wednesday, December 25th. Good luck, Commander!